How's it going guys? Today we're going to be going over a problem called moving average from data stream. Uh, this is a common lead code question that's asked by Google, Facebook, and Microsoft. The problem description says, given a stream of integers in a window size, calculate the moving average of all integers in the sliding window. So this is actually like a class design question. Um, obviously you kind of have to come up with like an algorithm as well, but it kind of tests your, your class design, your object-oriented programming uh, design. So here, we're trying to represent an object called moving average. And so here, we are making a moving average object, and we're passing the constructor, or the thing that's actually going to make the object, number three. So that corresponds to this constructor here. Um, so let's keep going through the example. It says m.next1, which is basically going to place the number that's passed into our moving average. Uh, so taking a step back quickly, right, well, just for a second, these are all going to place the numbers into the moving average. And so this is actually a sliding window problem. So the idea behind this is if we have this many numbers and a window size of something smaller than it, we want to see only as many numbers as we can up to the window size. So if these are the list of numbers and this is the window size, we need to slide the window along the numbers and at any given moment, we want to basically be able to say like what the average is in the current window size. So by sliding this back and forth, um, or in this case, we'll really just be going one way it looks like, we need to at any moment be able to give the average of what's ever in the window. So continuing on here, we add one into the window, then we add 10 into the window, then we add three into the window. So now our window is full. Right, because our window size, they tell us, is 3 for this specific object. And so once we add 5, what we need to do is we need to kick out 1, because 1 was the first thing that we saw. So because that's how things are evicted from the window, that's telling me that we probably want a queue data structure to represent the window object. So there's a couple things we need to keep track of, right? We need something to keep track of the size, which we're told is 3. We need someone to keep track of the window, which is our, going to be our queue. And then we also need to be able to compute the average. So probably like, I think they want to double here, actually. Yeah, they tell us double. So that means we need three things, right? So in our class, we just said we need a queue, which is going to hold integers, and we'll call it queue. Let's also make this private, because that's good object-oriented programming uh, design. So we also need private int we'll call it max size because that's the maximum size the queue could be and then we want something like private double sum that's going to hold the sum inside of our queue at any moment so now when we actually invoke our constructor like on this line we just need to set those things right or initialize them so our queue will be set equal to a new linked list integer our max size will be set equal to the size that we're passed in here and our sum is just going to start at zero, right? Because we don't actually have anything in our queue yet. So now, when we call next, we need to do one of two things. We're really, like, we need to check one case. We just need to know if our queue or our window is full, right? So if queue.size is equal to max size, what we want to do is we want to remove from the queue the first thing we saw, which the queue will do on its own because that's a property of the queue. And we also want to remove from whatever the sum is currently the value of what's being removed from the queue. So we can just say in one line sum minus equals queue.remove. So that will uh, do two things in one line. So it's going to remove the thing from the queue and it's going to decrement sum by its value. So now once we've done that, we just need to add this new thing into the queue. So we could say val, And then we want to add to our sum its value, right? So we could say sum plus equals val. And then finally, this function has to return a double, which is going to represent the average of the moving stream. So we could just say now sum divided by q.size. Oops. Awesome. So just to run through it again really quickly, we're making a moving average object. We said that we needed a queue, we need a max size, and we need a sum, and then any time we're asked to put something else into the queue, we need to return its average, right? So we're going to check first 
have we reached the maximum size? If we have, we're going to remove the thing from the queue and decrement its value from the sum and then add the thing that we're given to the queue. So we'll add it here, we'll add its value to the sum and we'll return the newly computed average. So let's check this out, hopefully this works. Awesome it does. Let's see what LeetCode says. The details say that we passed 12 out of 12 test cases and we're about the in about the 84th percentile, so not too bad. So guys, that's the interview question moving average from data stream. Uh, this was done in Java. Uh, hopefully this is helpful. This is a question that's asked by Google, so make sure you guys can do this. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments. I'd be happy to answer them. If this was helpful, be sure to subscribe and leave a thumbs up. I try and release a video every day so that everyone can see a new interview question every day from these large tech companies. Uh, good luck on all your interviews, and I'll see you guys next time.